the two most powerful words in the world are what if. The most destructive words in the world are if only. I would group bosses into two groups, those that manage by fear and the others that manage by love or positive energy. I'm really big on Churchill quotes. One of his quotes is, uh, if you're going through hell, keep going. The toughest part about resiliency is you don't know how it's going to end. Looking back on it later on, you, you can be very objective and reflective, but man, when you're in the middle of it, it's, wow, I don't know if this is the worst. Or this is the good part, and the, the really bad stuff is going to happen next week. It's absolutely true, but misfortune or challenges don't build character, they reflect character. So you really get to discover what you're really made out of when you're in the toughest of times. And the corollary of that is you get to find out who your real friends are. Your core group is the one that sticks with you. And th those people are the most sacred people you have when you're going through the tough times. The biggest regrets would be what you didn't do as opposed to what you did. I'm not advocating jumping off cliffs and, and taking stupid chances, but I would encourage people to be more courageous and imaginative in terms of what their future might be. If I had a philosophy of life, it would be Jimmy Stewart, a wonderful life. I had two realities and one you were in the world and one you weren't. Hopefully the one in which you were in the world was a little bit better off than if he hadn't been.